All right, guys, today we are going to talk about three relationship tips. Number one is you want to have a common vision. You want to know that you are going in the same direction. And again, this is going to be slightly different depending on what stage of your relationship you're in. But ultimately, you want to know that the person you're dating, that you're in a relationship, that you guys have a common vision, even with your career, finances, and where you see yourself in the next five years individually and collectively. Yeah, and, and it's like what you can do actually, like the physical, is um, the same way you do a vision board, which you would divide mm -hmm. it, we have the, our quadrant that we usually use, the same would apply for a relationship. So where do you guys see health-wise? Like what, what is your guys' goal? And then career-wise and business, finances, finances, like where do you see family, yourself there? Yeah, travel, adventure, mm -hmm. you know? And like books or inspiration or goals, like just getting clear so that both parties are on the same page and you guys are both all or the whole unit working towards one end goal or you know you guys have like a roadmap of where you're going as opposed to just kind of going with the motions so in our example stephanie had her job for for about six years and i had a business that actually required me to be there often and so when we had the conversation and getting in alignment with a common vision, we had our vision to be able to live from anywhere in the world, essentially from our laptops and our phones for our online coaching business. And today that is a reality. But again, in order for that to have been manifested, we first had to like visualize it, put it on a vision board, put it in writing, and more importantly, get on the same page so that we could put our energy all towards that goal. And had we never had that conversation, who knows, we would have still been in places that weren't as good as today. So the common vision is super, super important. Yeah, and with the vision board, like I said, he he's a visionary, he can't see it. I'm very like, how, give me the ABCs. And so knowing that different people communicate differently is also very important because you don't want to be like oh i see this and then your partner's gonna be like okay well hold on give me a second and you're yeah. like no you don't trust me you're not we're not on the same page mm -hmm. but it's not even about that it's the other person communicates differently so he knows that about me so he'll say like babe this is this you know this is this this and this and like okay like i can see it now i'm like i'm good you know what i mean so just getting clear with that and understanding that everyone uh, communicates differently and sees things differently is also very powerful yeah so to piggyback back on that i'm more of like the risk taker like oh let's just you know jump off of, uh jump off of a mountain and build an airplane on the way down that's like the entrepreneur mindset and my wife she's a little more conservative she wants to like read a little bit more like, know a little bit hold more on, is there a safety before, net? yeah before <laughs> yeah she wants to know that there's like a safety net you know and because i have this type of mindset i can't expect her to change and become like mine or vice versa mm -hmm. instead instead you want to they say wise words is to seek to understand first then to be understood so even though i have like a vision or i see something that we can accomplish for our family for our relationship i break it down in a, such a way that i know she'll understand it so i might say hey you know this is the vision check this out what do you think about it and then i know what we need to do to get her like on the same page so being able to understand how your partner communicates um you know makes a big difference yeah so and then number two is making each other a priority this is a big one um sometimes we have either family members society friends that put expectations of what a relationship mm -hmm. should be what it should look like how it should function like you know and and just kind of feed that in and then when you two get on the same page and just kind of like we are a priority mm -hmm. we dictate how this is going to go what it's going to look like what our vision is whether other people believe in it whether the people agree with it like that's irrelevant that's just that that's what they think and so we make ourselves a priority we come first so that everything else can function and even if we don't have kids yet but we will next year and what we've learned from wise mentors that have had a 30 plus year amazing and beautiful relationship their advice that we've taken on from them is that even if you have kids you and your partner should be a priority first and then your kids should come second your parents should come second because if you two are one unit and get on the same page with the same vision 
and everything, then everything else is just gonna flow better because you're not, it's not like me versus you and then them. It's like we're, we get on the same page and then we can relay the information to our children and to our family and to essentially the entire world. Yeah, and I know it's hard to almost like stomach that at the beginning because that's not what's the norm or what we're taught. You know, my kids come first or, or um, you guys don't know because you don't have kids yet. But again, we've met, been mentored by some of the most amazing couples mm -hmm. and just really like took in and learned what, what really made them successful and really learned from them. And this is something that's worked for us. And then lastly, the two prompt question. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> let's get very clear. And if you need to take notes, take notes on this one. But we took this question from Lisa Nichols, who we absolutely love. She's one of the authors of The Secret yeah. Law of Attraction. So it's a two prong, two prong question. And so remembering that when you ask questions or when you communicate with your partner, create a safe space. Don't be reactive to what they're doing or what they're saying. Just again, just like, okay, just take a step back and it's like, what I'm hearing you say is, so this implements here. But the first question you want to ask your partner or anyone for that matter, the mom, parent, whatever relationship you're trying to mend or nurture is going to be in a scale from one to 10, rate our relationship. One being the worst, 10 being like the absolute best. So you allow your, you know, you'd say like, oh, you know, rate our relationship from a one to 10. Answer it. Yeah. Well, what should I answer? Whatever, we're just okay, walking so it through. 10. Okay, no, say something like okay, in the middle. Okay, so 8.5. <laughs> this is how it can go wrong. Why is it a 10? I do everything around here. You don't do anything. Blah, 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 blah. That's the wrong way because guess what? Are you going to want to open up to me anymore? No, I'm not, I'm not going to feel safe anymore to share because I feel that if I ever want to do something to or have a conversation to improve an aspect or any aspect of our relationship, I already know that she's just going to react and then nail me and so I won't feel safe to actually share anything that would improve our relationship which ultimately is just going to hurt our relationship. And you get one chance you guys, one chance. Yeah. So if you mess this up, like so it's kind of hard to you, build that bridge. You want to create a safe space. So let's share an example of how we would create a safe space. So okay. ask me again. So, um, so from a one, to, yeah, from, from a scale from one to ten, what would you rate a relationship? Like a seven. Seven. Okay. Question number two. Notice how she didn't respond. She yeah. just said, okay. Said, okay. You take it in. It's a... Because even when you're not communicating... A seven. A, I could not not say anything, but just like... Okay. That communicated already. It's NLP. <laughs> yeah. Body. Your body language. Your body 80 language. Of your, com, breathing. 80% of communication is body language. So. Yeah. Remember that you're communicating whether you say something or you don't say something. Okay, so question number two is like, okay, thank you. And you know, what is something that I could work on to get us to a seven? Yeah, to a or ten. Or ten, sorry. Yeah, well, or like, well, what do we need to do to get us from a seven to a ten? Yeah, right? so, so taking it in, just okay, and then working it through. In, other, in two months, three months, whatever you feel comfortable with, ask the question again. And so now it can go from a seven to a 7.5. Not, and again, don't be like, well, why are we at a 10? I've been doing this, this, and that. It's not about that, you guys. Just yeah. take control of your emotions and like, okay, well, we're from a 7 to a 7.5. to a 7 .5, That's progress. You know, what can we do to get us to an 8 or a 10? You know, just keep shooting higher. And so that's been like an awesome, awesome, awesome question and exercise that you can do with your partner. But remember, don't be reactive. Create the safe space and just be open to it. That's the three tips. So having a common vision, making each other a priority, and the two prompt question. Those are three of our tips to have an amazing relationship. If you have any other tips that work for you, comment below, let us know. We wanna make sure that, again, so one of the ways that our listeners learn the most is by your guys' comments. So comment below with one other one that works for you guys. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the little bell so you guys can be notified every time we upload a video. All right, guys, see you later.